Hi everybody, welcome back to 360 Big Sky Media, our continuing Theasis tutorial. Today's a really good one, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this and I've enjoyed creating it for you. Because today what I want to do is, it's probably going to be longer than 5 minutes because there's a lot to cover. But we're going to talk about hotspots and exactly what we can put into a virtual tour inside of Theasis. And I think you'd be pretty shocked at just how customizable it is if you haven't already looked. If you are enjoying these videos and you're liking them, fabulous thanks very much the comments on the channel have been great i've tried to answer the questions if it went through uh, the comments from facebook have been funny mr walker andrew um hopefully we can show you something new that you didn't know as well this week that's kind of the challenge me and andrew were having a little bit of a giggle because he keeps finding something he didn't know in theasis every week when we do the video and actually the hot spots we can create there's so much more you can do that you probably don't even realize as i say if you're happy like subscribe share and keep coming back for more content so let's jump into theasis and let's start adding some hotspots so as you'll see we're at the standard virtual tour page we're just going to jump into the demonstration tab and we're going to upload panoramas and build a virtual tour you'll also see that i've got the demonstration preview open just so i can show you what we've done and i've added i know it looks horrible but i've added every single hotspot that there is in there let's just run through these so you can have a look and then i'll jump into theasis and show you how they work first one is Plain and simple, Three. we've got two types of text. We've got a 3D text, which points at us, and a 2D text. Very simple to do. Next to that, we have a photo album, and you'll see I've had to put little tabs on so I know what we've got. Here's our photo album with just a selection of images. Next to that, we've got a video, which will take us to a YouTube copyright-free video that we've just put in. Next to this one, we've got an information panel, which we've used the presentation tab. I've noticed I've spelt that wrong. Wow, that's shocking. Um, that turns into a link as you can see so we can click on that and it'll take us to the boutique we've got the logo and we've also got a video built into there as well with audio next to that we have an image which is just an image so it's a clickable link this is our facebook reviews link so if anybody wants to add any links to facebook they can this sends straight into an email with within the email subject line you'll see the words quotation this is a downloadable price list which will just open as a pdf which we've got in there this one here is the polygon tool that somebody asked me about this just opens up an image but that can do literally anything this isn't a polygon tool this is just a straight line that we can put in and click a hotspot press this button it won't work on the the desktop it'll just tell me that it's going external but if we press this it'll actually take us to telephone number that we input when we're on a mobile it's telling me that it's going to go to my phone. So this is if you want to sell something up or you want a customer to buy something, it'll take them to a presentation page. And what I've done on the presentation page is put an image on and also a call to action, which will take them to that site to buy that. This is if you want to have people given access to your calendar. I know it's a big thing on Facebook and you want people to book. So if you click on that, it'll take you to an, an external calendar that they can link on. That's just some of the hotspots that I've done. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, probably 16 or 17 hotspots. Oh, I've got 17. And this is where we are. So I thought what we'd do is we'd just start from scratch. So I want to start with the really easy ones. And I think you can't get easier than text. So if I click on that and we open the hotspot editor if i click on that you'll see it'll automatically open up the properties of that hotspot that i've added how do we add that really simple go to text get your text drag it over and then edit it it is that simple i'm going to delete that one because we don't need it so when we're on this tab we can actually have an action from that hotspot so we can trigger an action if we want to any one of these i haven't with this and you can enter a tooltip if you want to. The tooltip is the little pop-up that you see here, where that says book now or buy or whatever. And to do that, we would enter the text and just press save. If we want to change what the text says, we go in 2D options, and this is where we can change our text. Then we press save. We can change our color if we want to. So there you go, that's now brighter. We can change our size of the font if we want to. We can change the text that we use or the font. We can change the weight. If we want that boulder, we can make a boulder. We can make it 2D or 3D. And when we go 3D, like the hotspot editor last week, we can start changing the 3D background, the color of the background, 
if we want any text rocks on there which are going to be visible as people type on them so that's text that's really really easy and you can it's infinite what you can do with that so next i want to talk about this hotspot here which is this one so if we double click on that because it's already done it'll bring up our actions page so all i've done is just found a youtube video which is copyright free and i've just added that and i've just given a title which is video and i've asked it to auto play when we click on it and the aspect ratio i've just set so when we've done that we can press save and close and see what it looks like and to see what it looks like what we would do is if we click on this so we go back from onto basic and we click on the play button and we can see exactly what happens let's be a little bit more customizable let's imagine we want the background of this video the button the close button everything changing yes you can really easy what we do double click on the video and where it says preview press preview which will bring up the preview window then we can customize the appearance of this and this is hugely customizable you can create your own pop-up themes which i'm going to cover later on but for now i just want to show you what you can do so we can change the background of the pop-up this bit here and we can change the color of that and we can change it to any color we want so let's imagine we want to change the background to gray there we go done and let's imagine we want to change the opacity of that gray down to about 50 percent that's easy that's done now we've got a pop-up button here to close it what we can do is we can change the background color so if we want to change the background of this to make it stand out we can change that to black and we can change the opacity if we want to and you can see up here this back up this pop-up button is opening up but it changes a different color when we hover over it okay we can change the on hover opacity we can either have it all the time shown or just when you hover over it and then we just press save if we press preview you'll see everything that we've done has changed the beauty of theasis is in every single hotspot one of these that you do if you click in preview you can change every single solitary hotspot appearance so if you want to brand something in the background being a company's color and the, the the close button being a company's color you can do all of that you can save it as a theme and you can apply it to every hotspot in this in this particular tour if you've got a real estate company who are coming back for the one you know custom colors and, and, and board and the one branded colors on you can do all of that really easy so that's video this one here's a photo album we've seen this one this is really simple to do you just upload the images again you can customize the background and use your theme if you want i'm going to cover themes in another video just because i just need to because it's quite big to add the images we double click and all we do drag and drop stick the images in that you want there it's you can change the title of the images i haven't i've just used them as they are but you can actually add a title for every image if you want to when you don't press save and close it facebook likes not complicated at all all we've done is point that to an external url so we go external url we've went down to our facebook page we've copied and pasted the facebook review tab if we press preview you can see it takes us to the page same with email probably one of the easiest ones to do drop down menu press email and you literally type an email address in and you type the subject that you want that customer to add whenever they click that button so if it's a quotation contact us whatever you would just put that in and when they click on it it'll take them straight into their email editor and they will send you an email price list all we've done is link to an external pdf that's all we've done so let me show you again we double click on the action we can put a title in there price list and then all we would do is drag and drop our image or drag and drop our pdf file into there press preview and there is our pdf file that customers can look at again having never left the tour call us exactly the same as email all you do is enter a number where do we find that really simple down here drop down menu call a number calendar what have we done with our calendar all the calendar is is an iframe that i got from my google calendar embed and just put that in and i've just put the title in 
to boot us now when we click on it you can see it just opens facebook again very very simple link to an external url it'll take us to our facebook page now i'm going to come back to this one don't worry i haven't forgot but what i want to do is just show you some of the icons that you can use all of these are found in the icons page you've got an option of icons emojis and flags these are all icons how do i know what to use well i go to font awesome and all i do is just type a dot and it brings up all of these icons that you can use but you can search for them so if we want a facebook we would add facebook we've got an option if we want twitter we've got an option if you want instagram we've got an option whatever you're looking for will be in there probably if it's not in font awesome you would check font elusive foundation just vector and iconicons you can also add an emoji again just press that dot and you get all these emojis if you want to put emojis in there there's a couple of customers have asked me if i can put these in just again drag it over you've also got flags again put a little dot in and you've got the flags of the world in there so that's where i've used all of these icons from what we've got here is a polygon line so if we go into shapes and we can see polygon shapes and polygon lines this here is a polygon line if we double click it it gives us it takes us to that polygon which is here and we can add an action if we want to and this here is a polygon shape so i want to show you how to do these because it can be people do get a little bit confused with these imagine we want to put a polygon shape around this door frame we would drag the hotspot in as normal and this is what we get now what you need to do is keep the left button pressed on your mouse while you press m and go to the corresponding corner but as you can see by default the polygon is very very white and it's hard to see but i'm just going to put it somewhere near i didn't press m there which is why i dragged the panel right you can see we're not we're not we're not right what i'm going to do is stay on basic scroll down a little bit and just drag your opacity down to a to a level where you're happy i generally work at about 40 percent then we can zoom in we can keep M pressed and now we can make sure that our polygon fills the window correctly. What can these be used for? Anything. You can use any action whatsoever. So you'll see this virtual tool that's already been done for a customer of mine. And we have a television here and we've linked to a YouTube channel which shows the local area for tourists. Come and say hello to the logo. We've also on this one, the business logo is tail. So we've changed the background to tail and dropped the opacity back. So that's just done with the polygon tool and we've put a click to play tool link there. So that just works really, really well. So this is our polygon tool. In this particular example, we've just got it set to show an image. Uh, one thing I've not mentioned about hotspots if you've got a hotspot and you don't want anything to change, you can lock that hotspot now and you can see it disappears and no matter what you do, you won't be able to make a mess of it. Very, very good way of helping you out there. One thing that is good to do, especially when you've got a lot here, if you hover over the name, this is called shape, but we can edit that. So what we can do is we can change the name of this hotspot so we know where we are. As you can imagine, if you've got lots of 2D text, 3D text and everything else down there, it may be a little bit awkward to find. Right, so that just leaves us this one, this hotspot here. This hotspot is actually a presentation. It just leaves us this hotspot here, which is an Etel presentation. I want to show you a presentation in the wild. This is a local photographer that we built a tour for. This this photographer had to close his studio during COVID, so we quickly built him a virtual space that he could sell his images from. So what we can do is we can click on this image and it'll open the presentation. And when we click on it, we've got an image, we've got some HTML text, and we've got a call to action. We've also blacked out the background on this particular image because this was the priority. And if we click on that, we can zoom in and move about. And we also have a call to action, which will take us to his website. How do we do that? 
it's pretty easy really. What we would do is go into our presentation and we've got a choice of style one, style two and style three. I'm just going to delete these off and start from scratch. And I'm going to use style two. So what we can do is add an image. So let me just grab any image I can. We'll use the Theasis logo. Then we can add some HTML content. What we'll do, all I've done with these is I've just copied this text and I've literally copied and pasted it into here. Double click on that, click paste and press set. And then we want the call to an action button, which is going to take us to this page. And in fills, we've got magical anic light prints so we'll just copy that again i've just copied it from there copy and paste save and preview there we go so that's exactly the same as what we had here we've just created it in 30 seconds we can customize that we can change everything the only thing you'll see slightly different here is the call to action button so on the call to action button we can change the colour if we want to. Again, as normal, I'm just going to change that to a grey. You can see it there. So if we want to be branded, we can. And we can change the placement. We can change the alignment, left or right. Or we can change the width. And we can change quite a bit about it. So we may want it smaller and bigger if that's what we want. And, and that's it. Presentation is the one I use the most, certainly to be able to give me this option. So that's our Theasis Hotspot Editor. Sorry for the length of the video. I know we said we were going to go five minutes long and this one's probably going to end up being 15 minutes. I didn't really see the point of splitting it up into individual videos. I'd rather just show you everything and then you can refer back. Which hotspots do you use? Is there any hotspots that you've, you've not used? Is there any hotspots that are new to you when you look and go, I didn't know that existed? As usual, like, comment, subscribe either on the Facebook user group or in the comments below. Um, a thumbs up really helps and gets this out to other people out there. So that's the end of this week's video. You have a great week and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, see you soon.